Most people in America are familiar with what is right and correct to do and what is not, and yet there are still young children from different communities that like to play around in the middle of the night and ruin things. There are also people during the day that are ill-willed and immoral, and they think they have the right to approach someone who's asleep and pretend to be their friend by putting their hands in their pockets, putting their hands in their bags, and interfering with their life until it ends. The truth is that the women of America don't have the right to do that. And at no point and at any time is the giving of a donation of funds to any ministry the access opportunity to do what you like to someone in America. Let's be very clear that there is a cookie thief in the middle of the night that is always stealing cookies from a homeless man's bag. Literally, there are children of a black community that think it's okay to play on someone's bags to the point that they rip them, to the point that they reorganize them, to the point that they steal from them, and that is immoral. You are raising immoral children in America because you are getting pregnant too young. Everyone is aware of that because of statistical analysis, not some song that hasn't been sung. You can sing low, sweet cheer at all you want to, but you are putting yourself low when you fail to learn how to raise a child to be an upstanding citizen. You have to decide what kind of a person you are. Are you of the history and heritage who has fought their whole life and lineage to get the uh, amount of encouragement and the amount of education and the amount of elevation that other people that came before you allowed you to do by their hard blood, sweat, and tears like the red, white, and blue of our flag, the purity of heart, the tears that have been cried for those who have died, and the blood that has been shed to protect American land and soil and air. You have failed to recognize the military almost every day. Your blacks do not recognize any American in a military uniform. I see that and observe that every day. Even whites do not recognize men in military uniforms, and they think that it's always someone in a fashion statement at play. The foolishness of American citizens is the feeling that they have the rights to know what's going on with someone. If a person has a sign, they're clarifying. This is what's going on, and this is where it comes to. This is what you may know, and the rest you may not know. It's none of your business. But there's always some white trash girl who thinks she has the right to know more than she has the right to know. She will find someone asleep and put her hands in someone's pockets to take a further peek at photographs that she was intentionally not shown. Because the man said, you can see these, but the rest are private to me and none of your business. And I know a woman named Ashley did this. And her foolishness was, I'm going to give you glasses, and then I'm going to take them back from you. And it's a constant play by her company. The problem is she is fully a representative of that company because that is solely and singly the way that she met that man. She lied to many people in many ways in her life. She certainly helped that man, but then she started to play with that financial abuse. Of if I feed you, I can do things to you. That is not true. You're not feeding me. If you chose to use your own money to feed me, that's on you. If you chose to use your company's sampling opportunities, that is on you as a representative of your company. If you chose to thieve things for someone, that is completely on you because most likely that individual didn't know you did that. But as I'm talking through the cookie thief in the middle of the night, I'm wondering what kind of parent allows their child, who's clearly not mature enough, to walk around at night to do so. Now, there are kids with narcolepsy, it's true, but narcolepsy does not usually allow someone to be pissed on by other people. What I'm saying is that there are people who are sleepwalkers and sleep talkers, but usually, and there are sleep eaters, but typically the person is somewhat cognizant and doesn't enter someone else's home to do these things. That is a lie that a black African queen is telling herself that because I've done these things, because I've talked about these things, because I've chided you in front of everyone, I have the right to do this to you, and you don't. What we see a great deal of is that people have paired incorrectly. What we also see a great deal of is that white women married to black one, women, white women married to black men are often trying to get other white women who might be less fortunate looking to get married to black men. I'm seeing pairings that are inappropriate. I'm seeing immature women not getting taken advantage of or getting fully taken advantage of, which they don't mind because they want to mature themselves. The problem is that they're not maturing themselves into anything that is loving and kind. Now that is just an opinion of a man who's been on a block for a few weeks, observing the life that surrounds him. But in my lifetime, I've never been so ill-willed and rudely treated than I have been on the University of Illinois campus. 
by not only by the companies that are represented here, but the employees of the university here, but also of the students that play in here on their parents' dime. When you really challenge those men, they might get insulted, they might take in the lesson, but eventually they start to hit back because they think, I'm a man, I'm going to teach you a lesson. No, you're not. You're a little boy who's about to be sued into the fucking ground and embarrassed in front of his father and mother because they don't know what you've been doing around town. Your lie of thinking I'll just send Mackenzie to do something was foolish. She is fully liable for her lie of bringing someone who's part of in serving the homeless in initiative because that woman did not do one fucking thing correctly. While she waited in the car, that was great, but her insult was to say, I have these bags for my work. Do you want one? No, they're for your work, and I'm not a part of your work. And openly, if you wanted to help me, you'd ask me what I need, not presume you know what I need, and you don't. In America, we have rights, and those rights are always being abused by people who want to be entitled for what they haven't earned themselves. They want to lie, steal, and cheat to get ahead because either they're too lazy or they're not willing to clean themselves up and be more neat. I've seen that in a white boy who I literally put in his place with a play in front of his family and he walked away. But then he got involved again because someone solicited him back into Stupidville. And that is on him. In America, we have the right to have freedom of noise. In other words, we have the right to the silence around us. We have peaceable enjoyment laws, which are usually noise ordinance laws. And yet, where are the police officers to pull over these hot rod cars that are making so much fucking noise in that five-year-old mentality of, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at my cool car, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Well, to an old man, we say something sort of inappropriate about those boys, that they're not mature enough to know how to be respectful in a community. You want to do that? Go off to Hicksville, America. No offense to them, because they produce the NASCAR folks of the world, but that's okay by me. What I'm saying is, there's a city and there's a country. There's an indoor voice and an outdoor voice, and we teach our children that. Those of us who are educated, those of us who care about the future of America, teach our children what is and isn't appropriate, what should and shouldn't be expected, and what is technically neighborly and what is not. It is not neighborly to presume you have the rights to anyone's life. It is not neighborly for you to think you have the right to steal someone's wife. And it is not neighborly for you to keep presuming that the person she chose is what God chose for her life. It is not neighborly to say you have the right to put your hands in someone's pockets while they're sleeping. It is not neighborly that says you have the right to put your hands in someone's drawer when they're out working. It is not neighborly to say you have the right to steal from a man's luggage and baggage that he's not unpacked yet because he's still settling in. He's still adjusting to his life without his wife after loss. And how dare you think you have the right to interfere with a man's lawful records just because you hold a badge, just because you can carry a gun. Anybody could do that today. And let me tell you, a $300 charge to do that is foolery today. In America, we have rights, and this is America. And when you cross the seas to come here, you better fucking believe you're responsible for our laws. As a student, you don't get a pass out of every little thing you want to play in a game on us to make it last. But what I don't appreciate is how people will gang together to abuse someone in some person-to-person -person ping game that is so immoral and so illegal that the police department says, Whatever. Just do it until you just about hang yourself, and then we're going to take you in. That is an abuse of that individual. It is abuse of bait that never asked to be bait. And openly, the military is now taking notice of the liars of America from every walk of life, every color of the nation, every tribe in the world, and every village partner that thinks they're in charge of another. In America, we have rights, and you are not in charge of anyone but yourself. We have abolished slavery. We have gotten rid of those things, and yet you want to piss on someone who's into evangelism. You might be smart, you might be intelligent, but when you play by looking at people thinking you're going to take their birth certificate, you're going to take their driver's license, you're going to put your hands in their pockets, you're going to put their hands in their bags to get information, you have sold yourself into slavery. You have totally fucked yourself under the law, and you deserve to go to jail. So don't play ball. Do not play ball with me. Do not play ball against me. Do not play ball because I didn't invite you to play ball. 